Hey YouTube, welcome to the episode of the Mark and Mike Show. This time we get smacked in the face, we do things we don't like to do, and we find out if a 300 or a 250 is more fun. Funny how you feel so unsure when you first get on the bike. Yeah, and it just takes a little bit to get your feet back. I'm kind of thinking, well, it's been a, it's been a couple of weeks for me from riding, but you were just out, what, last weekend? Weekend before, weekend right? Weekend before, I did that. I know, let's see. Because I was in Atlanta and it was the week before that. I bet you it's been like a month since you've been out. I bet it has, yeah. Well, off to the left used to be a trail, but they yeah. blocked it off. Are you talking about over to the right here? It's right here. Well, there's not a lot of tracks on here. No. I don't think this is on the map. I would doubt it. Damn. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, eating all those pine needles. Yeah, you probably got needles to catch in all the spiders up here. Right? I'm surprised how well traveled this is. Yeah. For never seeing it before. Oh, it just turned oh. around. Oh. Right, there, the end of it. I was kind of a letdown. <laughs> Oh no. I'm trying to do this in second gear. Can't really see where I'm going. I just feel connected. I lost my Santa. Mark will come find me. Oh there it is. And after waiting for a while and not being able to hear Mike uh, in the Santa or hear his bike running after turning mine off and sitting there for a bit, I decided to head back up the trail. And of course, as I'm heading up the trail, I'm a little bit worried about Mike coming down the trail and running into me. And Mike's probably thinking, saying, oh, there he is. Yeah, luckily we didn't run into each other. I lost my Senna. Oh. It, it got hit by a branch, but I found it. Oh, did you? Yeah, so it's in my backpack right now. Then I need to turn my back around, which is a simple enough move, unless you get a cramp in your foot. <laughs> I got a cramp right as I was, uh, or right as I was uh, turning the bike around there. So uh, anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. Ah, cool, little wheelie. All right, I'll stop putting a new battery. Goof around a little bit over here. I got a cramp and <laughs> the bike tipped over. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, can we try to go up again? Alright, I'll follow you this time. Alright, I'm gonna give it a whirl. So this is a fairly simple trail. It's got a bunch of roots in it and Mike and I decided to go up and down this a number of times so we can practice standing and going over a roots. There's also a rocky section at the top which I uh, actually didn't get in the video. But, uh, so here we are practicing uh, what we don't really enjoy which is going over roots when we're standing. Alright, well, I got some good video of you there. Did ya? Right on your tail the whole way. Except for one spot where you gotta get it. Alright, I'll follow you this time. Alright. I'll try standard. I feel more fluid than I did just recently. So I wonder if we just keep doing this stuff for a little bit, if I'll just all of a sudden click and go, there it is. I think so. And like that big rock there, I just bounced right over the top of it. Yeah. Instead of going around it. Okay, cool. I think that was what was screwing me up. This part's been fluid before. This put one off the trail there. Is I was trying too hard to avoid things. I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I went right up the middle of it. It wasn't pretty, but I did. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, see, so going over that rocky section. Yeah. I just ignored the rocks and just plowed right through. It worked so well. Oh man, that one. Yeah. So one thing that I've always hated that Mike's good at is these steep uphills. I want to go up the steep thing. Remember, it's steep and it looks on the GoPro. I think the more we do this, it's just going to help me. You know, practice days, doing stuff I hate. Yeah, I'm going to go up that one more time because that's what I hate. I think the reason it freaks me out is if you crash halfway up that, it's just not going to be good. Right? You know? You're going to loop back on the main road. Or halfway down. Right. Oh, you want to try it with my bike? Uh, yeah, you want to swap? I think it's in first, but I'm not sure. It seems like my idle's high all of a sudden, so huh. watch out for that. Let's see if I can get on here without breaking your bike. And you may remember from an older video that last time I got onto Mike's bike, I broke his kickstand. All right, I'll go first. Okay. So you can watch me destroy your bike. Right. Oh, your pivot, pivot pigs are sweet. I didn't realize. <laughs> now that I'm standing more, because when I tried them last time, they were kind of a weird feeling. Right. Yeah, it's weird that your bike does feel just a touch heavier, even though it's not. Yeah. All right, I want to go up with your pivot, pivot pigs. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Because going down, they just made my legs tired. But I think going up, it's going to make it easier. Uh -oh. Yeah, don't crash my bike. <laughs> I thought you said those are good front tires. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, a little more worn in than yours. Okay. And as a reminder, Mike's on my 300 XC and I'm on his 250 EXC. As you're about to see, the 250 is an awfully fun bike to ride. Whoa! <laughs> I jumped it over that loop. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, your front suspension is softer than mine. Yeah, your gearing is a little different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm in second all the way up here. Oh, your bike is fun. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that clutch has a much bigger play area. Yeah. As always, thanks for watching. We'll go back down and then call it quits, I guess. Call it good. So what do you think of those steak things? You know, I don't think I've noticed them yet. Yeah. I <laughs>